welcome back what is good everybody thank you guys for tuning in if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and like this video if you haven't already even though it's the first 10 seconds of it i'd appreciate it a lot now you probably clicked on this video because you saw the title of it and it is how much i earn from my dividend portfolio and i'll show you exactly to the penny how much i make from my dividends from each company and from the total every single year every single month and if you haven't already please down below in the description box there is a link to the Robinhood app and if you sign up you get a free stock it might be a dividend stock so you might be earning some cash flow from it so just do that and do yourself a favor and let's get started into the investing game come and join me with the link below now I've been doing this for almost about three months now investing into dividend stocks and investing into the stock market I decided that you know it's never too late to start I started three months ago and you can start today do yourself a favor and start investing invest in the stock market invest into something that's gonna give you a return you can't just keep on trading your hours for money because you know you only have 24 hours in a day and so you need your money working for you at all times and that is period don't leave your money in a in a low interest savings account because you're actually re realistically losing money so do yourself a favor invest in the stock market go buy some real estate start a business do something all right guys what's up welcome back i'm at my computer right now and i'm using the apple numbers app this app is very nice i like the way it's designed and formatted i have everything apple from my phone to my laptop to my watch so i just like to continue to use the apple products that i have available in front of me and just so happens that this numbers app turns out to be a really good way to track your dividends and you know your companies and it actually uses the stock market numbers as accurately as it can so just because of the format, I do actually love this thing. So now let's look at our holdings. We got Apple stocks, AT&T, AG&C Investments, you know, QSmart, Coca-Cola, Ford, Iron Mountain, JP Morgan Chase and Company, Pfizer, Royal Dutch Shell, Starbucks, uh, 3M, and just a bunch more in the middle. So as you can see, we have a ticker symbol, shares, average cost market price cost basis and it goes all the way down the line so let's uh focus more on the numbers that you guys really want to see so at the bottom we have the total so cost basis is how much i put into it and then market value is how much my portfolio is actually worth so i'm much up about 235 $230.50 but it's obviously higher than that because this needs to update um, but right here is where we want to focus on the dividend this is what exactly what we want to be talking about all right if I go over here I freeze the header column here we go now once you can freeze the company name area you can drag that all the way over to the right and then it will tell us exactly what stock so we got apple hospitality and they pay an annual dividend which means for one share this is how much that company pays for holding one share for a whole year apple is a dollar 20 at t 204 and as you can see it goes down and down and down and if you're interested just look at the company that i have and just see which one i think the highest one i do have is 3m at five dollars and 76 cents that it pays me for holding one stock and i have three of those so we could obviously do the numbers in the end but yeah we got apple i'm just gonna read it off the line for the annual income i got apple paying me nine dollars and sixty cents a year at t $20.40 AGNC paying me $30.72. BP Gas Company paying me $29.28. CubeSmart $2.56. A small number, but you know, little numbers add up. Um, we got ConocoPhillips $1.68. I only have one share of that. Coca Cola Company, I have six shares paying me $9.60 a year. 
we got the Walt Disney Company. Only have two shares, but you know they pay twice a year at three dollars and fifty-two cents. I think this is my biggest holding for just receiving dividends. Uh, energy transfer at a dollar twenty-two a share, which now they're going to be paying me fifty dollars and two cents on the entire year. Sorry guys, kind of like have a miniature cold, so bear with me if you can understand me. Uh, Ford is paying me $31.20 for holding it. See, they pay a $0.60 cent a share, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the price to buy in is like $9, so you can rack up a ton of them, and that's exactly what I did. I have like 52 shares, so that works out perfectly. Hands brand as well, $0.60, cents, so I'm getting paid $4.80. Uh, this is SPH. I'm pretty sure so at a dollar eighty three three dollars and sixty six cents and you can see right here on the right side how how I get paid so quarterly means four times a year monthly means 12 times a year and semi means two times a year so just remember that on the side right here that's how often I get paid from these companies Iron Mountain pays me seven dollars and forty one cents JP Morgan three dollars and sixty cents I have one share of that pattern energy energy group uh, gives me eight dollars and forty-five cents. Pfizer gives me twenty-three dollars and four cents. Royal Dutch Shell gives me thirty-three dollars and eighty-four cents. Uh, as you can see, the other gas companies—they uh, pay actually a really, really good dividend. But you know, just the industry is very shaky. That's why people, you know, try to stay away or keep their portfolio limited to that certain industry. But I like it, and they've been on discount, so rack them up for the last couple months. Uh, Starbucks pays me four dollars and ninety-two cents. Unilever, which I have two shares of, pays me three dollars and fifty-eight cents. Uh, the CEFL pays two dollars and fourteen cents per share. As you can see, the yield on it is very, very high, so it's very, very risky. But they will be paying me eight dollars and fifty-six cents, and I get paid every single month. Three uh, M five dollars and seventy-six cents. I have three of them. And that comes to a total of $17.28. Most of my stocks pay quarterly, as you can see. A couple pay monthly, and then one Walt Disney pays two times a year. So the grand total of all my dividends is $307.72, which makes out to be, if we do the calculator, so that 307.72 turns out to be around $25 a month that I receive in dividends. Now, obviously, since there are some that pay monthly, quarterly, and semi, I won't be getting exactly $25 every single month. But after the whole year averaged out, so I just took this number and divided it by 12, we get around $25 and some change. So that is nice to see that I, my portfolio is earning me passively, and I'm saying this very emphasized passively because I'm really not doing anything but just holding these stocks. $25 a month on average. The other one I do use is Google Sheets. Now you can go on Google Sheets. All this stuff is free and you can create your own dividend tracker. I will have another video explaining how I do create the Apple Numbers uh, dividend tracker and the Google Sheets dividend tracker. But this one is way more accurate when it comes to the market. Um, but you can see it's the same thing. Um, I have all my companies right here on the left. All the shares that I have, average costs, is the whole rundown, and um, as you can see, annual dividend, uh, and then 307.72, all the annual income, and how much I get paid out uh, each month, or quarterly, or semi right here. So um, I'm gonna be making videos like that to make sure that you guys have your own dividend trackers and it's very simple it's just kind of annoying trying to put it together it took me actually an hour and a half maybe two hours just to figure out how to do it because i was just doing it off the top of my head but you guys don't need to waste two hours of your time because i already did that for you and i will show you exactly how to plug it in and look things up and so that you know you guys could uh track your dividends without any hassle so but that is it, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and you guys got to see all my holdings, how much uh, annual dividends that each share pays for my holdings, uh, and how much annual income from each individual company pays out to me each year, which is actually pretty awesome to see, you know, 
it's been a ton of growth. The last video that I had, I think I was around $150.12 for dividends that I had received. So as you can see over the last month, more my portfolio has more than doubled to to for dividends to 150 all the way to 307 so you know there is progress being made and i just love to see that i'll do one of these videos every single month to show you guys how my portfolio is growing in dividends and how much i would be receiving in dividends year round and every single month so i hope you guys like the video please smash the like button and i can't stress that enough tell a friend who's gonna tell another friend to subscribe to this channel um uh, and hit the and comment down below if you actually like to see my numbers and see how much annual income that I, my portfolio is making how much progress i'm going to be uh going through uh so just comment down below talk about something you know I love when you guys comment so I could respond back to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know, that's just like my, my, my weak spot to answer everybody's questions. So if you have a thousand questions, please ask a thousand questions. Down below, there is a link to the Robinhood app and you can guys can get started today with just one click of a button and you guys get a free stock and I get a free stock. So please sign up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and there will be another video like this next month updating you how many how much dividends that I will be receiving uh, in the future. So thank you.